So what you're looking at right here is the EcoFlow River Mini Wireless. It's a small, compact, lightweight charging station. I've used it on a couple of different trips now already, and I absolutely love the thing. But I'm gonna go through all the features, I'm gonna talk about what the advantages are of this product, and why you guys might wanna consider purchasing it. But let's get to it. So one of the things that's most incredible to me about the River Mini Wireless is how lightweight it is. And it's overall size, you can see how compact it is. So that's perfect for me because I have a remote off-grid log cabin that I have to hike to. So I carry everything in in a pack. So this is lightweight enough, just over six pounds, and I'm not adding a whole lot of weight to my pack and it's also not taking up very much space. It's also perfect for anybody that does freelance writing, blogging, anybody that works from a computer. Um, you know, sometimes it can be a hassle if you're on the road and you have to you know, search out a library or a coffee shop, you know, just to go charge your laptop. That's the beauty of this thing, is you can actually charge this from your car port, your cigarette lighter in your car, so you can keep it juiced up and you have good, reliable, portable power with you everywhere you go, so you don't have to go out of your way to find an outlet. So my favorite thing about EcoFlow products is the charging options, and it's nice, they provide you with all three cords for all three charging options. So you can charge it off just a standard 110 outlet like you have in your house, you can charge it from a solar panel. And like I said, you can charge it while you're mobile in your car through your car port. But let's get to the fun stuff and go over some of the specifications of the River Mini Wireless here. And I will post all specifications, um, everything you need to know about capacity, input, output. That'll all be laid out very nice in the video description. But on the front here, you can see you have three USB-A ports, one USB-C port, so that's nice. You can charge several things at once. You also have a car outlet, so like your cigarette lighter in your car. And then on the side here, there are two standard 120 volt AC outlets, so your standard household outlets. And the AC output is 300 watts total with a surge of 600 watts. And then there's this little access door right here, and these are your charging ports. So this top one, the smaller one, is where you charge both off your car and if you wanna charge off a solar panel. And then this bigger one on the bottom here is what you use to charge off of a standard household outlet. So as far as charge speed goes, it'll charge it from 0 to 100% in 3.5 hours off of a car port. With solar, it'll charge it in 3 to 6 hours, and that all depends on the sun, of course. And with the AC charging option, it'll charge it from 0 to 100% in 1.5 hours. So pretty fast charging, and very nice that you have three charging options. And check this out, this thing's called the EcoFlow River Mini Wireless for a reason. This will blow your mind. Turn on the USB ports. And that is wirelessly charging my phone. So how cool is that? And I'm a massive fan of the wireless charging option. We've all forgotten our phone charger before, kind of frustrating. The nice thing about the wireless charging option is you don't have to fumble around with a phone cord. Um, if you forget your charger, no big deal, because you can still charge it. So you can see on the display screen here that with my phone wirelessly charging, it's drawing eight watts and it would charge my phone for 13, 14 hours. But of course my phone's not gonna take that long to charge. So you'll be able to recharge your phone wirelessly several times off this. So let's see this thing in action here. We'll, we'll plug in some cameras and a few other things and see, uh, see how well this performs. Like I said, I've, I've tested out a lot of my cameras and charging my phone and everything on it on a couple trips already, and I've been very pleased. But we'll plug the GoPro in. So the GoPro alone draws six watts, and you can see it'll charge that continuously for 17, 18 hours. And let's plug in my phone to the USB-C receptacle. I would normally just charge this right on top because I think that's awesome that you can do that, but it's charging and that bumped it up to, with both of those charging, about 19, 19 watts. So we have my phone charging, the GoPro charging. Now let's turn on the 110 receptacles here and plug in a laptop. All right, so with my phone charging, the GoPro charging, and the laptop charging, um, it's drawn about 40 watts, and it'll charge these all continuously for three hours. All right, I charged up my phone and my GoPro up to 100%. We dropped down to 82% battery life, so there's still plenty of juice left. 
But let's try plugging in the TV. Like I said, the AC output of this is uh, 300 watts. So the TV will be no problem for it. All right, so with the TV on, you can see that it's drawing 48 watts, so it can handle that easy. And it'll run the TV continuously for three hours at 80% charge. So it'll run the TV for quite a while. So this would be perfect for a van lifer or an RVer. You know, if you want to wind down the night by watching a little bit of TV, the River Mini Wireless will handle that no problem at all. It's pretty remarkable that for this being as small as it is and as lightweight as it is, that it has this much power. I mean, to power a TV, I mean, it would power a gaming console, no problem. Um, you guys saw it'll power a laptop, no problem at all. So this thing has quite a bit of power for how small it is. So let's try out a couple little appliances that I'd probably bring camping or have in my RV. I'm a big coffee fan, so I like to get fresh beans and grind them up and do them in the French press. Look at that. The coffee grinder is no problem for it. So I already know that this will run the fridge because I think this fridge draws somewhere around 80 watts and you do have 300 watts of AC output. All right, let's see what happens. So did you guys see that it jumped up? It was at like 400 watts for a second there. And that's that startup. That's why that 600 watt surge that you have for the AC output is nice because a lot of motors have a little bit of a surge on their startup. All right, so you can see we've leveled off at about 72 watts right now. And with this being at 75%, it'll run the fridge for two hours. But a fridge doesn't run continuously. Once it reaches the temperature, it'll shut off and then it just kicks on when it needs to. So it won't run continuous like this. It will shut off once it reaches temperature. So the River Mini Wireless will run a fridge. Especially since if you're mobile, you can be charging this, you know, from your carport. Or, uh, you know, if you're somewhere where you're, you're parked or whatever, you can plug in your solar panel. Or if you have a solar panel on the roof of your RV or van, you can be charging this while it's running your fridge. So, pretty impressive for how small it is that it'll run a fridge. So this right here is the EcoFlow app. Um, you can connect every single EcoFlow product that you buy to this app, which is really nice, really user friendly. It's very easy to connect, um, to sync these up. It walks you right through it in the owner's manual. But you can see I have three EcoFlow products here. This is the Delta Pro that we use to power up half of our house. It runs our kitchen because this runs a lot of bigger appliances. Um, this is the EcoFlow Delta Mini. I have that off out in my car right now, so it's not picking that up. And then this one right here, is our River Mini Wireless. So you can see it's showing me that I'm at 74% charge, which that's what it shows on the display screen. And I'll click on it and it's nice. It just tells you everything that's going on, um, what your input is, if you're charging, what your output is, um, battery life. There's a few things you can change on here. So the app is really user friendly. You can see there's many different things you can do with it. Um, so I really like it. You can turn off the beep so it doesn't beep every time you click a button. And it's nice that you can do all this right from your phone. Alright, so since I saw that the EcoFlow Delta Pro was only at 9%, I went and started the generator and it's charging off the generator right now. So you can see we're up to 10%. We've had a long stretch of cloudy days here in northern Minnesota and we're getting into shorter days where there's not much sun anyways. So, um, but it's nice that you can charge all these products from a generator or from a standard household outlet. And I do have videos on the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the EcoFlow Delta Mini. And I'll put the link to those videos in the description. I highly recommend watching them. We've been using these products for quite a while now. And we absolutely love them. And we are completely off-grid here. So we do rely on these products for a lot of our power needs. And if you're looking to purchase any of these products, I'll have the links to purchase them in the description of this video. So there you have it, folks. If you're looking for small, compact, lightweight, portable power, I couldn't recommend the EcoFlow River Mini wireless enough. Um, really nice that you have wireless charging, so you don't have to monkey around with a phone cord. It's just kind of a convenience thing too. You can just set your phone right on top, let it charge. It's really nice, but this thing will keep your laptops charged as you saw, keep all your cameras charged. So perfect for freelancers, van lifers, RVers, or if you're just looking for a little bit of power at your off-grid cabin or your little getaway while you're camping, um, it'll keep all your devices charged up. So I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys next time.